Hi and welcome to episode number 24 of this latest Baya tutorial series. Today we make them all burn. I mean, we will implement the burn status effect. Let's go! First, we have to create a new game action. We call it apply burn game action and place it in the game actions folder. The class has to inherit from game action, of course. Inside, we will have the burn damage and the target for the burn. And one important thing, this game action will not apply the status effect, but only execute the burn effect. For applying the status effect, we will use our add status effect game action from the previous videos. Then in Unity, under Systems, we will create a new system, the Burn system. In the Burn system, we will need a reference to a Burn visual effect. We then need our onEnable and onDisable methods. And also the Apply Burn Performer. We attach and detach the performer to and from the action system as always. In the performer we take our target first. Then we instantiate the VFX at the target's position. We then also deal damage to the target equal to the bird damage value. Whenever burn is applied, we want to remove one stack of it so that it decays over time. Therefore, we remove one stack of burn from the target. We then also wait for one second so that the whole sequence looks a bit better. In the enemy system, we now have to change the enemy turn performer so that if the enemy has a Stack of burn, burn is applied. Here we first check if there are stacks and in case there are, we create a new apply burn game action and add it as reaction to our action system. We need something similar for our hero. At the moment, we handle the reaction to the enemy turn in our card system, because we only draw cards there. Now that we want to have other things than card draw there, we should move it to a more general place like the hero system. Let's move the enemy turn pre-reaction and the enemy turn post-reaction to the hero system. Great. Now in the post reaction we can check if there are burn stacks on the hero and if there are, we apply burn. Back in Unity we can create a new card. I call it Firestorm. It will apply 3 burn stacks to all enemies. We also add it to our deck. In the hierarchy we then create the burn system under systems and add the burn system script to it. For the VFX, you can use an effect from the Cartoon FX pack that we also have used for the damage effect. And now we can hit play. If we play the Firestorm card, burn stacks are applied to all enemies. If we now end the turn, you can see that the burn damage is applied and the VFX is played. Then the stacks are reduced by 1. 
Great. Now you know how to add different status effects to the game. And here we are again. That's it for now with the series. If there will be some more topics in the future, I will expand the series. But for now, I will move on to some other content. I want to dive into another genre or make some more card game tutorials unrelated to Slay the Spire. So maybe I will make some tutorials about village builders like Islanders or Dorf Romantic. And maybe some top-down survival games like Don't Starve. Or I will make maybe a tutorial about a complex card collection like in Hearthstone for example. Please comment what you think about those new topics. Thank you for watching and also thank you so much for supporting my channel. You've helped me to grow really fast and I really appreciate it. Thanks again and see you in my next video.